From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. Did you notice that we had a pretty warm temperature for this morning that when you got outside, it does, wait a minute, it's not quite as cold as what it has been. Well, the low temperature was down to 55 degrees. That's the official low. That's the warmest low so far this year. Before that, 44 degrees on April the 26th was the warmest low. So yeah, we've been used to these temperatures basically dropping off into the 50s. But the interesting thing about this is if you look at this graph, which is the past 20 hours, let's go back and pick out that 55. That was one o'clock this morning. If you were up at five o'clock, it was 59. OK, if you were up by nine o'clock, here we go. There's me. No, 64 degrees as you look at that. So those temperatures really warmed up quickly, even once we got up to that 70 degrees for the high temperature so far this afternoon. Well, we've got clouds outside, so don't be surprised if you see a shower. Temperatures will be coming down fairly quick for this evening, uh, but they'll remain in the 60s, so they'll be fairly nice for tonight. If you look at the showers around the area, you can see what's breaking up moving here to our north. But there's still more showers there uh, for Boise. Same thing for Twin Falls. Same for McCall. Same thing for Sun Valley. So you have a chance of a shower for tonight. As it moves through overnight, we get a break tomorrow. OK, there's the break. There's the next storm system. That's going to be very late tomorrow night, if not early Saturday morning before that moves in. And most of these showers, as you look at the future cast, they're kind of scattered. They're lean. Man, we're not talking about heavy rain with these storms as we get closer to it. Of course, I'll show you uh, a little more about that tonight at 10 with some of the uh, latest models. But as you look here at Saturday morning at 1:30, there are some thunderstorms that could start to develop. If we see that, that changes the story. That could bring about some fairly significant rain if you're near a thunderstorm. So twin falls for tomorrow. You see most of these temperatures are still around 70 degrees. Most of the central mountain, mountain country, our temperatures are in the mid 50s. And the same thing for McCall. You can see a chance of an isolated thunderstorm or rain shower uh, temperature. Tomorrow's the last day where you're going to see these highs that are going to be somewhere into the lower 70s. So if you look at the seven day, there's your Friday at 72. But look at the difference for Saturday and then Sunday. I've even got a little mixture of some rain and snow. You might even see some light snow Monday morning on this, okay? Temperature gardeners will be down to 34 for Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday starts to come up a bit, okay? But we're still the mid to the upper 30s as we're watching this. Now, if you look here, we've got the storminess over the northwest. There's the next shower for very early Saturday. And then as you look getting into next week, this is kind of an indication of what we're seeing. These storms heading pretty much toward the northwest coastline. Not that they're major, but it keeps us in that somewhat showery pattern. And when you look at this 10 day temperature trend, you see the 74 for tomorrow, but it brings these temperatures down. This is because of the unsettled weather and it appears because of all that moisture, even though it's starting to dry up in the Western Pacific at this point, that it's going to hang on at least another eight to 10 days. Now, finally, we see temperatures getting up around 71 degrees at the end of this, which is 10 days later, but it's around for a while and that means putting more snow on the mountain peaks. By the way, we're going to be around with more news in just a moment.